Hey, welcome back. So uh, we've now got our scenario mostly set up for there's a Fox Deluxe and it's the Fox Killed scenario, the very first one. It's only four or five turns <clears throat> and allow us to explore movement, explore overruns, explore combat and supply. And uh, that's the primary goal here. Uh, first things first, a little errata. It would appear that Hex 2231 here where uh, according to the setup instructions, I can set up units eight hexes from there. That allows in September 1940 to set up inside the, uh, in, uh, Egypt in Solom and pass the Hellfire Pass. It's not a big deal, but it's wrong. Uh, you know, the Italians obviously early September started uh, on this side of the line. So we're gonna assume that that's an error and uh, uh, work out where we're going to go. We're going to put Maletti up here somewhere and try and make a run uh, along this trail <clears throat> and, uh, and kind of go for things from there. Anyway, I think that noise you heard was Tammy. There she goes again. One of the things in our family that we can have an agreement, I won't play a lot of classical music around her and she's not supposed to play a lot of uh, that noise. I'll be right back. So, there, put the air conditioner on, close the doors. <laughs> All right, so what I was trying to say is I'm going to take Maletti and maybe Babini here down this track. Uh, I'm waiting on an answer though to assess whether or not that's a viable deal uh, because the way the, the wording is done for movement rates I'm unclear if, uh, if you get the benefit of the track and if you do what that benefit is but just by the way things are worded it's got an abbreviation O-T-I-H use the cost of the other terrain in the hex but it says half O-T-I-H and so if I look at the terrain, it's desert, Does that, and for mech that means it's two movement points. Does that mean I get half of two, or do I get half of uh, a movement point? I just, uh, I'm just not 100% clear. I'm probably going to run with half of two, meaning it'll be a one movement point cost. And so then the uh, here's what we're trying to achieve in this scenario. So. It's the classic uh, Italians invade Egypt scenario. So for the, the uh, Axis to win, they need control to Brook and Bardia. But if they also control an airfield and or have a base, whether it's supplied or not in Egypt, they can uh, call it a win. Uh, the Allied forces, Commonwealth forces, they're going to need to be able to uh, control both uh, control to Brook and have a line of supply back to Alexandria. Or maybe it's to Brook and Alexandria. And uh, Bardia. Let me see. Uh, yeah, and Bardia. Oh, okay. And so actually, in, in actual fact, uh, for for the uh, for the Axis, it's to Brook and or uh, if I if I get one of these airfields. Uh, in, you know, or a base, it would allow us to do that, so, uh, get, get a win. So it's actually not, potentially not that hard, but there's a lot of forces at play here. So you can see, I've got these, ah, bruh, smash. So I've got these forces here. And I've got these divisions that can set up within eight of Tobruk. And then these other units can set up within eight, but really seven of, uh, I imagine it's eight, but not across the border. Uh, have them set up there. And then <clears throat> these guys, the Commonwealth forces, can all set up within seven, uh, three hexes of Mercer, um, a true here, and we'll uh, then get reinforcements, uh, some Aussie units to give everybody some backbone. It's a joke. And there's uh, some stuff stuck down here in the Nile Valley, uh, Nile River Valley area. 
So that's, that's kind of the dealio. And uh, I'm just now looking at where I want to set up, how I want to do it. Uh, I'm still getting used to movement rate color codes. You know, a red background is foot. A, uh, a white background is something else. <laughs> And uh, an arrow means something as well, and we'll work it out as we go. Uh, it's mobile. A uh, red arrow is mobile, of which there are none on this side. Uh, in fact, there are none on the other. Oh, here, here we go. Here's a mobile unit, right? And he's got a white background, which means something as well. That's mech, I believe. Well, maybe not, uh, because mech is going to have a... Oh, yeah, that's mech. All right, so they're all mech. Which makes sense, because they're scout units and recon units. Alright, anyway, thought I'd share that with you. Talk to you soon. Just a quick little look.